So what motivates me? I would have to definitely say the small things in life. Laughter, experiencing new things, traveling, and my friends. to go out for the night. Mm. Did you know that you could take, when you take a photo, am I on this camera? Mm-mm. You're not. <laughs> you know, you could take a photo, right? Mm-hmm. And then, on Instagram, you could add a filter to it, like after you took it, like inside of the Insta story, like after the photo's done. I thought you could only do it if you're taking your own photo. I did not know this. Yeah. We'll try that out. That's crazy. Show us the arm detail. To... Oh. That dope. This gonna be, I'm going to be part of your TV show. I know I'm going to be so famous. I can't wait. Oh, Lord. Let me give a shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a Chanel doing the praise dance. Hey. 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 We can sit here and jam to Luther Vandross for like hours on the end, or Anita Baker, or uh, what, El Debar, the Bars, is it El Debarge or the Bars? I think it's El Debar. We say the Bars. Like just be jamming, but going in. They don't make music like they used to. I will say that. So where are you trying to go tonight? Like a lounge or something? Yeah. Answer my prayer. Ooh. Trying to figure out what we're gonna do tonight, but I know I'm gonna pick this hair out because this is looking a hot mess. We're gonna get cute, we're gonna drink a little, talk a little, you know, do whatever. Ain't that right, Chanel? So what is Nicole listening to? Who says? That's listening to Felice Navidad in a minute. <laughs> so you said you have three laptops and you use two for testing? Yes. Well, testing for your I website? Use, yeah, I use this to do work. I do my Apple to test on an Apple. Nicole definitely motivates me. 
I love seeing my friends do well in life. And she pushes me as well. I think it's always good to have friends who push you to be the best version of you. So my dog wants to jump up here with me. You happy? Anyway. To all the people who aspire to be like entrepreneurs and stuff, but they still have a nine to five, what do you say? How do you balance it all? Or better yet, how do you start? Because a lot of people have troubles just starting. You know what? There is no way to say how you should start other than probably having a schedule. Mm -hmm. That's it. a schedule using time. You have to sacrifice. You're going to lose sleep, a lot of sleep. Yeah. And you have to be consistent every day. You have to make yourself work on your business. You're tired because you just woke up at seven to go to work at eight to then get off at five to make it home by six. But then you're working from like six to two a.m. Mm -hmm. to get almost like another eight hour shift in for your business. So you mm -hmm. have to you know, force yourself to stay up. You have to have a schedule getting work done. Even if you aren't working on like a client mm -hmm. or a product or something of that nature, you have to do research, marketing. There's just ways to use your time wisely. So, yeah, you know, you just have to really make, you know, your entrepreneur initiative, whatever it is, your business, make that your priority and then call your, you know, nine to nine five, five, your side job. Look at it that exactly. way. Exactly. It's all about how you look at things. Cause Lord at knows. Things. This dog looks at it that way. Don't you, Chanel? Chanel. Chanel in the house. Chanel, babe, babe. Change your life, yeah. That's it up, great. Yeah, yeah. Well, you do smell good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It smells like incense. Have you been going somewhere when I'm not here? Have you been out in the streets? Where? Look at me. No, don't look at her. Have you been going somewhere when I'm not here? Maybe. Because I'm not raising no baby, Chanel. That was one of my biggest fears about getting a good-looking dog like you. Uh, don't you don't you catch an attitude with me? We were safe. Don't you catch an attitude with me? That's what I was worried about. Good looking dog. I raised you right, and then you're out there just go where it matters. So I'm trying to be hard on myself. I'm trying to compare. That's one thing I think we all do too much of is comparing ourselves to the next person and saying they're successful, they're doing this, they're doing that, and you just have to be focused. Some things are for others, some things are for you. There's something for you. I gotta get ready to go out tonight. I gotta get sexy. I just want to name and keep it simple and cheap. I'm drinking it down. She's gonna pull it up, pull it up. <laughs>
Yeah. Do they have big portions here? Um, sorta. But if you don't have enough food, just order more. I was just wondering. Getting this brunch life. It's not out yet, but it will be soon. And I got this mule from Moscow. <laughs> we got the dirtiest lotion too. No. Yeah, because you know how we get. We get a little ashy from time to time. You gotta always keep the lotion. Yeah. It's proper. Oh, look at that house of pies across the street. I don't know if y'all can see that, but um, they had to do work, and um, they brought them in for like, I guess, five days before you went in Christmas break. They would have something different every day, and one of those days was house of pies, and. It was okay, I wasn't impressed. I felt like, I felt like my grandma needed to go back there. And <laughs> they got This is what I live for. I got this at what was the what was the event called that we just hip went to? Hip hop flea market. Went to the hip hop flea market. Got this North Face. North Face, y'all. Ten dollars. So that's the definition of thrifting. That's what I'm talking about right there. Maybe, but we wear it back in rich. Blanco tacos and tequila. Try this chain out. No I mean. I have to work on my car. Shrimp tacos. Then I got the elotes with the pork carnitas tacos and Spanish rice. Right? By the way, these well, chips are bomb. They taste like somebody put their foot in it. They said, as a statistic, 50% of, they said 50 of marriages fail. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. So like, two out of four people, their marriage will fail. But they said out of the one marriage, no, sorry, out of the two marriages that exist, mm -hmm. one out of those two people are unhappy. So statistically, that means when you get married, three out of four people are going to end up divorced or unhappy. So you better uh, focus on happiness and focus on what you need for your life. Because you don't want to be with somebody and be miserable. Exactly. Like, what if you say, oh, we've been married for 35 years, but we've been miserable 33 of them. Like, what? Yeah. Is it really like, worth I, you it? Know, I don't think that's really worth it. No, it's not. Find a soulmate, but also find beats that match your soul. Because the 
friends that help you along in these rough times are there when nobody else is. So I think it's really key to just be around. Thanks for watching.